Hey, wonderful coffee. Meal in itself. Can I make you some eggs? No, I'll take a breath. Oh, you look so rested, dear. I slept like a dead one. First time in months. Imagine sleeping till ten on a Tuesday morning. The boys left nice and early. Huh? Yeah, they were out of here by eight o'clock. Good work. Oh, it's so thrilling to see them leaving together. I can't get over the shaving lotion in this house. <sighs> Beth was very changed this morning. Seems like his whole, you know, attitude seemed to be hopeful. He couldn't wait to get downtown to see Oliver. He's heading for a change. There's no question. There's simply a certain man that take longer to get uh, solidified. How did he dress? Oh, his blue suit. He's so handsome in that suit. He could be a uh, anything in that suit. Well, no. There's no question, no question at all. Gee, on the way home tonight, I'd like to buy some seeds. Oh, that'd be wonderful. But not enough sun gets back there. Nothing will grow anymore. You wait, kid. Before it's all over, we're going to get a little place out in the country, and I'll raise some vegetables and a couple of chickens. You'll do it yet, dear. Yeah, and they'll get married and come for the weekend. I'd build a little guest house. Because I got so many fine tools, all I'd need would be a little lumber and some peace of mind. I sewed the lining. I could build two guest houses so they'd both come. Did he decide how much he's going to ask Oliver for? Uh, he didn't mention it, but I imagine ten or fifteen thousand. You going to talk to Howard today? Yeah. I'll put it to him straight and simple. He'll just have to take me off the rod. Uh, and Willie, don't forget to ask for a little advance, because we've got the insurance premium. It's the grace period now. And it's a hundred... A hundred and eight sixty-eight, because we're a little short again. Why are we short? Well, you had the motor job in the car. And that goddamn studio bigger. You got one more payment on the refrigerator. But it just broke again. Well, it's old, dear. I told you we should have bought a well-advertised machine. Charlie bought a General Electric, and it's 20 years old, and it's still good. That son of a bitch. <laughs> but Willie... Who ever heard of a Aston's refrigerator? Once in me life, I would like to own something outright before it's broken. I'm always in a race with the junkyard. I just finished paying for the car, and it's on the last legs. The refrigerator consumes belts like a goddamn maniac. They time those things. They time them so when you finally get them paid for, they're used up. All told, about $200 with carriers, dear. Yeah. Well, uh, but that includes the last payment on the mortgage. After this payment, Willie, the house belongs to us. It's 25 years. Biff was nine years old when we bought it. Well, that's a great thing. To weather a 25-year mortgage is... It's an accomplishment. All the cement, the lumber, the reconstruction I put in the sauce. There ain't a crack to be found in it anymore. Well, that served its purpose. What purpose? Some stranger will come along, move in, and let's start. If only Biff would take the sauce and raise a family. Oh, I forgot. Good, good boy, I'm late. Uh, you're supposed to meet them for dinner. Me? At Frank's Chop House on 48th or 6th Avenue. Is that so? How about you? Uh, no, just the three of you. Uh, they're going to blow you to a big meal. Didn't say. Who thought of that? Biff came to me this morning, Willie, and he said, uh, tell Dad we want to blow him to a big meal. Be there at 6 o'clock. Well, you and your two boys are going to have dinner. <laughs> Gee, was. That's really something. I'm going to knock hard for a loop, kid. I'll get an advance, and I'll come home with a New York job. God damn it, now I'm going to do it. Oh, that's the spirit, Willie. I will never get behind a wheel the rest of my life. It's changing, Willie. I can feel it changing. Beyond the question. Good boy, I'm late. <laughs> you got your glasses? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got me glasses. And a handkerchief? Yeah, a handkerchief. Your saccharin? Yeah, me saccharin. Careful on the subway, there. You mean he wouldn't see you? Well, I waited six hours for him, you see. All day he kept sending my name in. He even tried to date his secretary. So she'd get me to him, but, but no soap. Because you're not showing the old confidence, Beth. He, he remembered you, didn't he? Uh, but and finally, about five o'clock, he comes out. Didn't remember who I was or anything. I felt like such an idiot, huh? Did you tell him my Florida idea? He walked away. 
I saw him for one minute. I got so mad I could have torn the walls down. How the hell did I ever get the idea that I was a salesman there? I haven't believed myself that I'd, if I'd been a salesman. And then I had been a salesman for him. And then he gave me one look and I realized what a ridiculous lie my whole life has been. We've been talking in a dream for 15 years. I was a shipping clerk. What'd you do? Well, he left, see, and the secretary went out. I was all alone in the waiting room. I, I don't know what came over me, huh? The next thing I I know, I was in his office. Panel, walls, everything. I can't explain it. I, have I took his fountain pen. Jeez, did he catch you? I ran out down the 11 flights. I ran and ran and ran. That was an awful dumb. What'd you do that for? I don't know. I just wanted to take something. I don't know. you got to help me, yeah? But I'm going to call Pop. You crazy? What for? He's got to understand that I'm not the man somebody lends that kind of money to. He, he thinks I've been spiting him all these years and it's eating him up. That's just it. You tell him something nice. I can't. Say you got a lunch date with Oliver tomorrow. Well, so what do I do tomorrow? You leave the house tomorrow and come back at night and say Oliver's thinking it over. And he thinks it over a couple of weeks and gradually it fades away and nobody's the worse. But it'll go on forever. Dad is never so happy as when he's looking forward to something. Oh, <clears throat> hello, Scout. All right, gee, I haven't been here in years. Stanley. Oh, sit down, Pop. You want a drink? Sure, I didn't mind. Let's get a load on. You look worried. I don't know. Scotch all around, Stanley. Make it doubles. Doubles right. You had a couple of right, didn't you? <laughs> just, just a couple, yeah. You well, what happened, boy? Everything gone right? <sighs> Pal, I had an experience today. A terrific, Pop. In itself, what happened? Uh, I'm going to tell you everything from first to last. It's been a strange day. I had to wait quite a while for him. Uh, Oliver? Yeah, Oliver. All day is a matter of cold fact. And a lot of instances, facts, Pop, facts about my life came back to me. Who was it, Pop? Whoever said I was a salesman with all of them? You were. You are. No, Dad, I was a shipping clerk. Yeah, you bet you were practically. Dad, I don't know who said it first, but I was never a salesman for Bill Oliver. What are you talking about? Let's hold on to the facts tonight, Pop. We're not going to get anywhere bullying around. I was a shipping clerk. <clears throat> You're right now. Listen to me. Why don't you let me finish? I'm not interested in stories about the past or any crap of that kind because the woods are burning, boys, you understand? There's a big blaze going on all around. I was fired today. How could you be? I was fired and I'm looking for a little good news to tell your mother because the woman is wedded and the woman has suffered. It just how it is that I haven't got a story left in me yet. Beth didn't give me a lecture about facts and aspects. I am not interested. And what have you got to say to me? Did you see Oliver? Jesus, Dad. You mean he didn't go up there? Sure, he went up there. I did. I saw him. How could they fire you? What kind of a welcome did he give you? He won't even let you work on commission. I'm out. I'm out. So tell me, he gave you a warm welcome. Sure. <laughs> sure, Pop, he did. Uh, well, it was kind of... I, I was wondering if he'd remember you. Um, imagine a man didn't see him for 10, 12 years and gives him that kind of a welcome. Damn right. Pop, look. You know why he remembered you, didn't you? Because you impressed him in those stories. Let's talk quietly and get this down to the facts, huh? Well, what happened? It's great news, Beth. Uh, did he take you into his office, or did he talk in the waiting room? Well, he came in, see, and... Yeah, well, what'd he say? I bet he threw his arm around you. Well, he, he kind of... He's a fine man. A very hard man to see, you know. Oh, I know. Well, uh, is that where you had the drinks? 
Yeah, he came in a couple of... No, uh, no. no. He told him about my Florida idea. Didn't you interrupt? How did he react to the Florida idea? Dad, will you give me a minute to explain? I've been waiting for you to explain since I sat down there. Now, what happened? He took you into his office in white. Well, I talked, and he listened. 